Uh, I believe, yeah, so looking at the race time, it looks like things are just about to start, so we yeah. should be seeing that here on the restream end any moment. Woo! This is... CGC! Yeah, this is hype. This is really... People have been waiting for this a long time. Oh, yeah. Also, shoutouts to uh, the, the team names. Everyone gets a team name. So we have Ultimate Hope versus Partners in Prime. Yeah. It's great. Um, yeah, this is... I'm hyped because all four of these players have uh, quite a bit of rando experience, uh, if not outright speedrun experience. Um, Samuel is a pretty accomplished Prime runner. Uh, Schwartz plays a lot of randomizers, including uh, DK64randomizer.com. Um, and then Frost and Lucarius got third place in the last cross game tournament. And I believe they also got like top four in the last solo tournaments for each game. Yeah. Which is, uh, yeah, so they're, I mean, not just that, they're the number one seed of, of this, of this, uh, group stage. So, yeah. <laughs> so we have something a bit different from the usual tournament concept here. Instead of the usual co tournament concept where we go with the Swiss system, we have a group system this time, which means we have three groups with seven teams each, and those are going to contest against each other, and the top three players from each group will continue into the brackets, where we will have a double elimination. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so this is all round robin for each group, each of these seven teams. Um, pretty, it's actually pretty pretty hype that we're seeing this as our first match. It uh, looks like a boost ball or a morph ball there. Oh no, that's got to be boost for Prime. What am I thinking? Um, let's see here. There's so much to cover because I want to. I want to. There's so much I want to talk about. But um, yeah. So respectively, Sam and Schwartz are the seventh seed this tournament, playing against the first seed. So we should be seeing quite a competitive match here. Oh yeah. Uh, not you know ignoring the uh, <laughs> ignoring the uh, potential of uh, how bad Randovania can make this. Uh, this item layout so we'll, we'll see what happens but um one major difference that you're gonna see in this tournament format is that both players start with missile launcher and so they'll be able to get a few items at the start um without needing to potentially be in uh uh locked and waiting for their partner um right at the beginning which i think happens more on the prime side than the echo side but um i could be wrong absolutely so, for the runner's agreements, we currently have, on the Prime side, Vanilla Suit Damage Reduction. And on the Echo side, we have Landing Side Start, Hive and oh, Industrial yeah. Side Gates are unlocked, Violet is removed from the starting items, New Experimental Patcher is activated, which we can, also, uh, which we can already see with those beautiful suits. Mm -hmm. and shout out to Uncle Reggie. Are, yeah, shout out to Uncle Reggie, thank you a lot. And nothings are replaced with missiles. Yeah, so for those wondering, like, what racer agreements mean, so there's a, um, there's, like, a standard preset for both games, um, the, with, like, the, the, what I mentioned, the start with Missile Launcher, um, so normally on the Echo's end, they start in a different room with the Violet Translator, which opens up the early game, um, uh, quite a bit, however, by doing this with Shuffling Violet and removing that Violet Lock on Aegon, Violet can be pretty much anywhere, <laughs> So there's a possibility they will not find it. We already and, have a bio. We already have a Dynamo Works artifact. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic! Thanks for the artifacts. I appreciate it. Um, let's see another, and, and then so, I think for the most part, the like standard uh, presets for both games are pretty similar to last year's, with the exception of like the start of missile launcher, and then. Um, on the Echo's end, uh, starting with, uh, or not starting with, but having multiplayer items shuffled into the pool. I do not believe those were in last year, but I could be wrong. Um, no, last year we me. only had Cannonball. Right. Okay. I know a bunch of players definitely, like, like, RA'd those in, in at least the Swiss stage, but... But yeah, no. uh, yeah, so we're gonna be seeing, like, let's see here. However many different matches. Is it like six, seven squared or six squared or something per yeah. team? So, so we're it's... just going to be seeing like a lot of matches in the group stage. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a lot of matches with 21 teams, which all also, have six matches each. 
that gives us only for the group stage mm -hmm. 100 and 120 something matches in theory i might be wrong let me do the math <laughs> There's going to be a lot of matches and a lot of good moments. Apparently, Sam skipped TTB when they were in t when he was in Talon, and uh, I'm guessing that power bombs because Dacian has power bombs, or at least an expansion. Yeah. Also, it's not the layout. Uh, do we know who's tracking, or is it is this all? Is this oh wait, all they, what am I saying? This is co it's broadcasted from the players. It's all auto tracked, so I don't even have to worry about that. We don't have to have any. <laughs> that work is just done for us. What am I saying? Also, it gives me time to uh, shout out the uh, um, the tracker art that Uncle Reggie made for both games. Yeah, the pixel trackers. We mm. decided to go on our, in my opinion, the best choice. I just really love them. All right, bombs for echoes. I did not see what was in uh, in mining plaza. I need to actually like pay attention here. <laughs> yeah, and then for anyone uh, not aware of who I am, I am in fact Bash Prime. So Leno, thank you for making that obvious. What is going on on Schwartz's screen? <laughs> it's because Sam's oh, it's name the is name. so long. <laughs> Sam's name is so long that the uh, GUI is not coming through. <laughs> so it's okay. So it is working as intended. In yeah, the most the, uh, unhinged way possible. The text is just not feeling it today. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, so we have power bombs for both uh, Prime and Echo's side for Partners in Prime here. So that's going to make Ooh. this cleanup very uh, um, thorough for Lucarius and, and that's Double also Grounds. Already, that's also already putting off, uh, giving the bonus for the diversions in the beginning, because mm -hmm. Lucarius decided to push into Aegon early. Which means now that we have PBs, we can actually go into GMFC. Mm -hmm. No I space think... jump yet, but that will... Uh, I mean, this is out of logic right now. Uh, the The logic always expects you to have the main power bomb upgrade. Which yeah. I think... I don't know if it was found in Prime. Um, but it has not been found yet in Echoes. Um, and Ech and it don't, it, Echoes will be very clear what it is. Because it's, uh, it's big and it's glowy and it has a lot of particle effects... Very, very easy to find. Unless it's behind a boss or something. Um, yeah, so literally, uh, t that's really great that Miguel just came in and talked about Prime. Because this is a brand new version of the randomizer software that's being used for this tournament. This is Randovania version 7.1. And that includes some, uh, some a lot of quality of life fixes, as well as some logic uh, affecting stuff on uh, for Prime itself. Um, so, for instance, the um, there's a, a room called Lava Lake that has these two bombable walls, and normally they will respawn whenever you reload the room. They no longer do, so it reduces. Um, it's a quality of life thing where, since if you already have power bombs or bombs and you can get through, it means you don't have to ammo manage as much if you're only coming through with power bombs. Um, and yeah. I believe that's been reflected in the logic too. Uh, I I believe, but. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Dacian going for the NSJ strat here. This branch is very uh, precise and oh, nice. well done. Nicely done. Oh, oh, but misses the... Ooh. That <laughs> sucks because that's the... He got the hard jump and not the not the easy... Not the easy-ish jump. But, I mean... look. It's at still an advanced trick. I've got my work cut out for me. Hard. <laughs> I got my work cut out for me to make also, sure that like I can... Uh, well, I'm not playing Prime, but... Also, for the solo we might want to add. What we might want to add, logic change wise, uh, is that Thardis will now, with seven point one, officially require thermal again. Oh yeah, that's right. The I think there was a change in the logic. There was like a logic bug, I think, at some point it, where it wasn't factored it in. It right? wasn't a logic bug in itself. Thardis without thermal, but with bombs, was just low to combat on beginner. Oh. I think it was that we now have set it to combat beginner and invisible objects beginner. I'm not sure gotcha. what exactly it has been set to, but it has been set so that tournament rule set will always require thermal for parties, logically. Oh goodness, you know what I could have brought out? My tracker for the uh, artifacts and stuff. So, forgive me, well, I'm a little bit rusty here. I will, uh, I will get better as this match goes on. 
but I can get my template here in just a second if I can find Main it. Main plaza put W storage depot A ice rooms east. Biohazard <laughs> and Diamond Lovely. Works. Forgotten Bridge, Anna Transit One. Dark Tour. Nice, you already wrote it down, thank there's you. There's some yeah. There's some very, very good spots for artifacts, let's mm -hmm. say it like this. <laughs> I guess you have to do a bit of work. Uh, this could yeah. be another Benagon key. Are we going to see more of us soon? Ink Hive key, okay, never mind. Oh, Dace is going for the Morph Ball roll into the Spider Ball, it appears. You know what's beautiful about this? Echoes doesn't have any translators yet. Yeah. Oh, and Sam is waiting on bombs or uh, PBs or something. Actually, no, Sam has. Yeah, there's an artifact in main plaza. Sam BK? I'm sorry. I'm. <laughs> yeah, there isn't much we can do. In, uh, we can do in the prime set right now without more four. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm so I'm so like, forgive me. I'm so echoes pilled that. <laughs> <laughs> the best game because you just have more fall <laughs> which you actually can shuffle in echoes it's just not a standard setting oh my goodness i played so... three of these qualifiers and for some reason forgot that more fall is an item for prime one <laughs> um yeah uh i think it's gonna come down to like like morph or very uh um being found more because Varia, Varia would get lava lake opened up through uh, the well you need space jump too but space jump and Varia would open up lava lake Varia itself would open up uh storage no track ups but maybe so there's some checks that could open up with Varia but potentially we're going to see a more fall soon Is or not, just Could, gonna be maybe just in Mining Plaza. Shoutouts to AGDQ. Go ahead, sorry. Is Mothball just going to be like in uh, PMT? Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, no. no way. Like... So Lucarius seems to be going for early Dark Aegon. I mean, did Sam... I mean, you have bombs, like, you might as well... Like, I think it's just inevitable. I think it's fine, like, it's early game, so it, it it doesn't hurt to just play it safe and be thorough with routing. Yeah. All likelihood, we're gonna see something. I mean, it's probably... it's. I think it's probably just gonna be, like, Jump Guardian, or, uh... Or, no, beginner settings would allow, I think, uh... Prowl Tunnel, but... I'm not sure yeah, so. if Trial Tunnel without uh, without Space Jump can be in Logic mm -hmm. and Beginner settings, actually. Yeah, it could be insane and do, like, Main Plaza Secret World without, uh... Oh, never mind, no, sweet. <laughs> Neither player has Space Jumped. Not yet. Yeah. It appears they did gave up on the, uh, on the Spider Ball Main Plaza trick. Eh? Oh. Some I guess so. Much. Some safe ones. Yeah, there's a there's a scan dash you can do that um I forget who found it. That made that consistent rather than TAS only. Hmm. From what I understand. So the big question that I'm gonna ask myself is, where's Ice Beam gonna be? Because Ice Beam in the last weeks and months same, uh, seemed to be a very late item, which for CGC multi worlds is a big problem regarding Prime being locked out by nearly 50 60 percent of the game with Ice Beam. Sam, so just like. I'm coping. <laughs> That's a ball right there. <laughs> Give it to me, please. 
<laughs> oh, it, oh wow. Uh, I mean, I guess Dacian doesn't have... Uh, this is good for... I guess good for Intel. Uh, yeah. All you're really going to be able to check is just this upper item here. Or just the... Sorry, the lower. Lower item. Lower uh, Fiery Shores item. So what are the main PBs for right now? Because, like, I guess you got Boost Ball under the ledge, which is supposed to give Echo Spider Ball. Look, interesting. So Lucarius ended up abandoning... Did Lucarius save warp from, I guess, the dark save station? Or was no. it just for uh, transport uh, that was just center? Just transport center? Huh. If Lucarius would have Oh, it could just be this, yeah. Been... Yeah. Well... But, well, we know Wait, it's... Already... Oh, there it is! Wow, okay. Nice. Alright, so Lucarius will be right on... Yeah. Right, right on their heels. Right. Okay, there's more ball. Gotta work for it. <laughs> and the SDK too. So both runners are still moving a lot. And Sam is just happy to have that boost ball. <laughs> Having boost ball early is going to give this race a lot of uh, speed instantly because boost ball is one of the fastest ways how to traverse through both games. But I'm afraid Echoes won't have that much checks left. Prime must be finding something soon. Yeah. Okay, so Morph Ball for Prime in Hype Chamber B. Trying to just keep in mind what's what's where. We don't have main power bombs yet for Echoes. Um, yeah, Sam's probably feeling good right now, <laughs> not having to worry about or going from being stuck to. Having the best possible morph ball movement. Yeah. That happens sometimes. I've uh, I definitely have had randomizer seeds, even solo seeds that have just been pretty slow, just due to a lack of uh, accessible items. The thing is, the biggest jet seeds can, in the moment you pick up with your artifact and SDK hints, or in the moment mm -hmm. you pick up like wave beam, they can immediately stall you so much. <laughs> and these slow stars can just turn into jet seeds very quick. Yeah. So, Renovania so can be interesting sometimes with oh, the way trolled. how seeds uh, play out. Right, right. Okay, so main plaza yeah, for both spider. Both players get trolled. <laughs> <On both days. laughs> I am speed. <laughs> when the cup is cross game, Cosmo, please. <laughs> Shouts to uh, Cosmo and Sestrion for winning last uh, last year's cross game tournament and <laughs> both of the uh, solo rando tournaments after. Yeah, just wide. German Galaxy euro. truly swept the prime rando scene. One year of tournaments just swept like boom. And both crazy good runners. Mm. I completely forgot to talk about how, like, cross game works 20 minutes in. <laughs> so I'll do that now. At a mo mo most opportune time. So yeah, uh, if you haven't noticed already, uh, that sounds condescending, I'm sorry. Uh, but if you've, like, just tuned in, uh, so this is basically one randomizer session across both a Prime and Echoes games. We have teams of two. One player plays Prime, one player plays Echoes. Some Echoes items can be in Prime, and of course some Prime items can be in Echoes as well. And so, uh, both teammates have to cooperate and find each other's items, and uh, just sort of get an idea of like what the seed might want them to do, in order for them to complete both games. And so, 
uh, the first team, or the team with the lowest uh, sum time, I guess, across. Like, both players have to beat their games. And then yes. what their final time is is based on how quickly both players finish. So this We've had some very close cross-game races last year, too. So. so basically, sum of time in the end means if, let's say for an example, Sam finishes... And Dace finishes 10 minutes after. That means that Schwartz will still have 10 minutes after Lucarius finishes to beat their game and win the cup with that. Or, like, win the match with that. I'm getting a little suspicious of these E-Tanks. Um, I don't know how many of them are gotten with power bombs, but uh, I feel like early Sank might come into play soon. It just depends on where Lightbeam is. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Sam is uh, is going out of bounds here. Yeah, Sam wants to probably going for Dynamo. Dynamo. Yeah. Wow. I mean, we ha I mean, we have the opportunity to pick up up a Dynamo right now, right here. So I guess it's not a bad idea to go for this uh, right now. <laughs> this is brave. I mean, I'm just no no more ball bombs for Sam. So that there's can. Uh... A, there's a. Mm, oh, I guess you I do infinite boost easy. through. There's power Ooh, bombs for prime. Main PBs. That's actually huge. Mm hmm So that just uh that makes everything they just did with like Rune Shrine logical. Yeah. But there's like a semi easy ceiling warp without bombs in here. So upper dynamo seems dead. Oh, oh no. Sam falls down. Not th this uh, this room doesn't have the largest Aether box from what I understand, so Yeah. Okay, so now that we up. have the falling is down that Amber? movement. Was that Amber? Is that Amber in Junction Site? Wow. Oh, yeah, it is Amber. Okay. So, so, uh. Sand Cash? Starting to come around, yeah. I mean, okay, look, Lucarius is going to be getting that uh, right afterwards, too. Yeah. Um, This is, uh. <laughs> that Morph Ball has intentionally kept this kind of close. Yeah, there we go. But now we're going to finally get some uh, hints as to what's in Echoes. Yeah, so... The and Echoes also what's in Prime, indirectly, too. Uh, go ahead, sorry. The Echoes Rando has a hint system where we ha take the lore hints from the vanilla game. And given if we have the right translators for each lore hint... We can scan the lore and get a hint for a major item or for the temple keys. Those are limited to the Echoes game, so we can't get a hint for an item that is hidden in Prime. But as Bash already said, we can get a slight glimpse of what is in Prime, because there is some trick arounds with the words how the hints are written out that can tell you if you have both these spider balls and echoes as an example um okay so i think i think they're i think both teams are actually locked into needing to do burn dome for for bombs or at least space jump or, or gravity or gravity suit i guess <laughs> <laughs> now both these players can... Oh, Sam's not going... Oh, Sam doesn't have uh, doesn't have space jump yet. Also, probably doesn't want to worry about... Um... Interesting. Yeah, Sam doesn't want to go for... Uh... Doesn't want to get locked out of doing, like, t uh, Tower of Light NSJ, potentially. Or, sorry, Tower Chamber NSJ. Yeah. And <laughs> the first hint is just... Uh... Person. Shout out to 2022. Those robo those uh those robo calls were so great. I don't miss those at all. Oh Sam. Oh Sam You're is getting it. Maybe maybe oh. maybe he knows like well this has to be bombs or something leading to them. Dark beam. Wow. Okay. Uh, and Das is gonna be uh wall boosting out of here. I think I know Sam. I think oh, Sam knows how to do this too. Sam oh well. <laughs> so much for that. I mean, it had to be coming up soon, so. Yeah. Big uh, sigh of relief Luke for. Uh, uh, they wow. gonna be so, happy about those bombs. So you needed. Hold on. So. That's actually a bit of a trek for those, because you needed to get. 
that's hard locked by morph and uh, boost, I think, technically, to get the spider for echoes. So yes. then get that amber. Little, little fun little chain there. And we have a perfect synced up moment for <laughs> mm -hmm. for the energy core puzzle. But again, players. And will... okay, well. What what do we have up there? That's a space jump boots in the mining uh, shaft Ooh. for echoes. Interest. Don't know where the other one is yet, but. Uh... Oh. This actually works out really well, because, uh... Was just got a hint for a space jump, uh, up, to what, uh, up to one room away from a Varia suit. Oh, interesting. Like, okay. one room away. So... Um, so both space jump boots are in Echoes, then. Which means that... Uh, we'll see. Let's see. Varia hasn't been found yet, so it's... <laughs> Unless it's somehow in Mining Station B, but... That requires, a Decent number of items to get, so... Uh... Are... <laughs> Any uh, mining station believers boost I mean, for echoes? Okay, furnace is. Uh, I mean, we're only hot location. We're only seekers away from mining station B, actually. Uh oh, yeah, I think you're right. Maybe, maybe that's what those E tanks were were needed for. Yeah. So both players have the Varia suit in. Varia suit will give echoes a uh, will give echoes some good puffer time before Prime gets into BK again can actually save a lot of time that would otherwise be spent in BK. Alright, just updating these uh, items here on my tracker. We got, uh, Dark Beam was in Burn Dome. Burn Drum Zoid. Drome, excuse me. In Is that a missile system? A missile system? Oh, that's Seekers! That's gonna, be, that's gonna be Seekers. That has to be Seekers. Okay, uh, yeah, look, I can get that right now. Yeah. Oh, so well, it's... I mean, <laughs> I guess Varia is in my station V. That's, wow. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a bad location for Varia to be in. <laughs> yeah. Also, the backtrack you have to do to get it. Wow, both the joke hints are in Aegon, like, right there. Isn't that, Amazing. like, all of them? Uh, yeah, there's two shuffled in per seed. So, those green text hints, <laughs> there's two that could be kind of anywhere in the seed, and, uh... They're just there. Oh, did Lucarius not open up Transport Center? Uh, I don't know. I No, I think they did. But, I don't know. Okay, so Sam's deciding to do Flagra. I and thought I saw Echoes Lucarius players, do that. Uh, both Echoes players are again high-fiving. <laughs> so good. This is, I, I like how close this is. It's great. Yeah. That's the kind of benefit of uh, a more linear start sometimes. Okay, so we have Frost going for the bomb checks and Sam going for Flagra. Flagra can be a potential big point, a potential big gamble. Because Flagra is, even with cutscene skip, right at a time consuming in comparison to other checks. But if Flagra has a major item, or if the ghosts on the next layer of the Sun Chamber have yeah, a major item, that I, can be a run changer. It's it's not. The thing is, it's only locked by bombs so and Morph Ball. And with the yes. with the cutscene skip, it's a, I feel like it's a lot more attractive to it. Plus... If you're skilled enough to go for early wild, you just get two checks out of the way, and more or less the time it takes to do Flagra, so... Yes, I... And that's what Sam's going for right here. And it routes into... It routes into... To... To Magmore Caverns. Even though Sam doesn't have Varia yet, uh, Luca's gonna be getting that. Oh, we've never seen... Oh, we've never seen, uh, Vault. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Schwartz triggered the uh, the warrior oh. ring here. That's fine. I mean, it's a quick kill. Yeah. The door. This room technically does lock, so you do have to kill that ing. But I'm unsure if the dark beam door would lock though. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, spooky ghost. That's a uh, that's another uh, that was brought back in the this new version of Randovania. 
Frame so I'm going to put that 80% practice to use here. Nice, full struggles. Oh! Oh, still state, okay. That would have been a very ghost. Uh, oh, but gets... This ghost is not disappearing, what the heck? Yeah, so the ace is already getting into position for Lava Lake. So we're going to see... Yeah, I mean, this makes sense. You get the safe station yeah. right there, you can pivot. You can pivot right and, back to landing site. But I mean, Varya is coming up, so... Aria in the second, yeah. Where barrier is like 100% in logic. Mm -hmm. Where was uh, where was Boost Ball for Echoes? I know Prime had it. Oh, that's a good question. To be honest. So I noticed. I know that. I know that. Uh, both Prime players got it for Echoes, but yeah, these ghosts are annoying, especially like this last one. Like, just take its time sometimes. Yeah. All right, what's here? Okay. Any chunk. Sam will be happy to see that. That's yeah. That makes Lava Lake more more or less a sure thing. With the even, current even NSJ. Yeah, with the current E tanks, it's probably just uh actually a nice find. Look at going for the uh, what you call it? The triple BSJ here, and that is indeed very suit. That's that's so cool. <laughs> Um, I did not see what the hint... Oh, nope, that's because Luca didn't either. We're about to find out. Will this be an important hint? And main reactor for for Dace. Um, that could be their space jump. What a, what a various location. <laughs> <laughs> also, fun fact, because of, the, of these settings... With missile launcher start, the only missile system hint that can exist is secret missiles for echoes. Yeah. This is. That's. I mean, the progression chain could have probably been worse towards that barrier, but it's still a pretty bad location to have barrier in. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, we get to listen to the wonderful Lower North Fair remix. Yeah. So it's a bop. Both again on their way to be head to head in both games. Waltz and Sam just barely behind. This is. So I think as soon as the first Sam will catch beams up. show up, yeah, definitely. But like as soon as the first beams show up, I expect some divergency in the gameplay. So I mean, Fendron is open. So I think. I think the idea here is just maybe do like Warrior Shrine, but then also like go to Fen, go to go to Canyon. I'm oh, Vault hasn't me. been checked yet, so uh, at least not I'm... by Sam. I don't know if if Dacia unchecked it. Also, I apologize. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce their uh, their new name. Dacian. Dacian. I'm sorry. I am currently. Suspect okay. I am suspecting something in upper. Sorry. Uh... I'm suspecting something. Yeah, Dace is going for it. I'm suspecting something in what's it called? Upper Fire Shores. Given that main PBs were locked behind bombs, so. Mm -hmm. They're logical now. So this might still be out of logic to check right now, but with some fairly decent standard bolts, we can check this. Mm -hmm. What's that? Uh, they look like a missile. Yeah. No, it's thermal. Oh, thermal. My bad. <laughs> the other oh. orange item. TGC is very happy right now. Speaking Maybe of. Says hello. Uh, I need wave beam, but starting to starting to look like that. Okay, so the so on Samuel's screen on the top left, these two bomb walls are now just they will are permanently gone. Once you bomb them, so you don't have to worry about them anymore when coming back. Which actually is, is nice. I uh, have no need for those to stay there since you like, have power bombs and bombs, so just the same obstacle over and over. This also includes the chapel, chapel tunnel, tunnel, I think, right? Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Which, and that is a very big quality of life change, given that it's sometimes you just have to uh, backtrack for that item. 
But those um, can also alter how you route, given that the Pathers in Lava Lake have a 5% chance to drop a PB. So if you have one PB expansion mm -hmm. back then, it was a lot harder to actually get those. So we got some, uh, we got chat, some people in chat uh, predicting it to be Wave Beam and Main Reactor. Also, that's, uh, that is locked by Spider Ball, Boost Ball, uh, I don't know. We have everything. Uh, Whatchamacallit? Dark beam or light beam, I guess. Or or not even that, just uh kind of a space jump unless you come in through uh the dark door. So yeah, this is this is all logical. So they made it into Fen. Yeah, I I uh Yeah, Sam will be is right on Right on their heels. Yeah. Okay, Dark Oasis Hint, which is dead. I... I miss doing that 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 hint scan so often now. Grapple <laughs> Beam? What? Yeah, root cave okay, are we seeing... Uh, are we going to be seeing uh, a Wave Beam in Magma Pool? Just right, right next to... Something good? Oh my good? god, that would... Oh. <laughs> Cause we've seen we've seen crash site, right? I mean that makes that logical. Yeah. Um I mean that's gotta be magma pool. Or it's the the grapple ledge, but I didn't see what that was there. I think Dace is trying And chat's not saying anything, so I'm assuming uh Wait, when did Schwartz get Oh, I did not notice that they got screw attack. I <laughs> Wow, that's just a nice, nice job for me casually ignoring the, the best item in Echoes. Well, the problem is just uh, I'm keeping up with four streams. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have a potential Dark Visor locked, uh, very unlikely to be phase on suit, given the number of tanks that are still shuffled, but something to keep in the back of, uh, back of your brain. Yeah. So that's another kind of hint system Echoes gets, is Echoes has the in-cache hints of the key burrows, which means if you scan the key burrows themselves, they will tell you a decently enough hint hmm. of what item is in the in-cache being dark by the locked. Okay, so Command Center was, was screw attack, so they just picked it up. I see. Um, oh, that's I mean, that's big. That is endgame for... That's endgame figured out for Echoes with Spider Ball. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? I didn't see what was found in Canyon. Looking at Tracker, looks like nothing of interest was found. It looks like Sam has some problems with the connection, so is Daze. Uh oh. Uh oh. We have no audio. Oh no, Daze! Oh! We're back. We're, oh, we're not back anymore. I spoke too soon. It's over. It's over. Oh, we're back. It's over. We're back. It's over. We're back. It's over. We're simultaneously over and back. So this seems not to be an issue on the runner's side. The stream of the runner goes fluent. So this might just be a speed gaming problem. Oh, uh, Prime Spider Ball was found, uh... Yeah. In, uh, Storage B, I think it is? Oh, okay, Dark then... Or... We haven't seen that yet on Lucas' side. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're... <laughs> das is, like, 30 seconds ahead. Another Inghive key in Chozo Ruins. The PowerPoint presentation just stopped on the correct slide to let us know that. So it's being kind. Storage B. Is this weird? And it was just a Sky Temple key in Magma Pool. So we know that we knew that Echo's power bombs were needed for SDKs, but not. I don't think we necessarily knew that Prime ones were, because we had a we had a SDK in Dynamo Chamber. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, while Dace's uh, stream or 
the restream end. Is there a way that can be restarted? Because if it's not the... Solution. Okay. I'm trying to get a solution on that, yes. I'll let, uh, I'll let T-Sigma know. All right, well, while that's being figured out, uh, I will uh, continue to observe what's going on in the pirate base for both players. I believe Upper Dynamo didn't have anything of, of value, but, oh yeah, just a missile expansion. Also, I need to, Dace is way too far ahead. <laughs> Yeah. Days is breaking time to try to <laughs> finish this quicker. Nice uh, HBJ there from Sam. That's one of the easier HB days to learn, actually, if you're looking into doing some no space jump strats. It's not a bad place to start. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, okay. So, even though they don't have Emerald yet, um, I'm starting to get the suspicion maybe Torvis is going to come into play soon for the Echo side. Whether it ends up being a trip through... Well, actually, I'm being I'm being a bit premature because there's no Light Beam or Annihilator for Echoes yet. Um, also, if we get Emerald, Sank Entrance might and no as supers. well. Sank Entrance might as well be the play here. Uh, Yeah, I very well could. Ooh, nice. Look at doing the uh, big brain thing here. Gonna go out of bounds and uh, get this item and then also probably check what's in Feeding Pit. Yeah. Um, I didn't notice if either Echo's player checked Storage C out of bounds or not. I do not think Oh, the bo- <laughs> I think this is an intentional one. And it looks like we got base gameplay again. We're back. We're so back. Um, shoot, I was looking at short, so I did not see what was on Luca's end. It was Thanks, Speed Gaming staff. It was just a missile I'm feeding pit and a... Uh... Ah, gotcha. No light suit this time. Well, we don't know about that yet. We shouldn't judge that too early. In feeding pit, I mean. In feeding pit, I mean. Yeah, okay, yeah. But we did. Or no light suit requirement, excuse me. No, no, no phase on suit, excuse me. I'm so brain broken, dude. It's from my own experience. <laughs> <laughs> we did not see the SDKs yet. <laughs> no, we've seen two, right? So at least two. Yeah, we've seen two, but like uh, we didn't see the rest three of the technically. Yet. I don't remember where the third one was, but it's okay. Mm, oh, I didn't think about, I did not think about this at all. This could very oh, well have something. Oh yeah, there's supers. Oh, well there's a... Uh... <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, Alright. That's, uh, that is logical Torvis. Although we can't do much in Torvis, so it's, yeah... I was about to say, Torvus would be kind of a risky play right uh, now. That's a little bit. No, that's a little bit you can do. You can do a decent bit. You just can't go into Forgotten Bridge. But you can go to Lord Torvus early. But I mean, that opens up. So, like, you have hints. You have all of the beginning section. You have Torvus Temple itself to open up Lower Torvus. Um, you have Seekers, so you can get into Training Chamber. Mm-hmm. Train chamber itself is open. That's also, like, that's sink access from Porvis side. So that might be something that Luca might be thinking about. But Yeah, that's actually a very good point. But I am not sure. Oh, I think Luca is, okay. So I think Luca is getting the other GFMC item just to see if it's anything. And probably with those main PBs, might as well check Windchamber. Oh, Sam took a death. 
I... I don't know what Sam was doing. I wish I did. Oh, Sam fit Magma. Oh, just to save warp back, I guess. Sam tried to HPJ Magma pool. Oh, wow. Ooh. Right, we haven't seen a... Uh... We haven't seen Schwartz go into main reactor. Oh! Oh my goodness! It, oh my, it's it's happening. <laughs> We're oh. seeing light suit. <laughs> We're seeing light suit. Let's go. <laughs> so. Oh wow, this hasn't happened in a while. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's. The GMSC item that would oh be originally missile launcher. Nice Can Sonic be picked boo. up before hitting the cut sequence trigger, and when hitting the cut sequence trigger, we can dupe this item basically. Since oh. the Echoes Rando is working on a progressive suit system, this means we can dupe a progressive suit and have a free light suit right here. That's out of logic. I'm gonna type in my spreadsheet for light suit. Who cares? All caps. <laughs> How about holy? <laughs> That's the just wow. Not, not even have to worry about that anymore. Was that an energy tank in the grandest of wind chambers? Looked like it. So. Yeah, it only works in their own seat, even in, in, uh, in, especially in the motor work. I mean, so, so I mean, Schwartz is going to be getting that too, like any second. But but like, I mean, that grapple. So, okay, so the grapple isn't a huge loss for for Sam because all we all we know about it is that it's a it's just a sky temple key. And again, we know the other space jump boots, I believe, are in Echoes. So yeah. it is a this is a scramble to to get the the boots. What was in here? Oh, okay. But holy, that it, ha it has to be the first. Sam, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so hype. Oh, oh, like, that looked really close. Yeah. Like, this is pretty narrow, cl standable collision that Sam's uh, standing on. And also needs to work with the bomb timer. Wow. So Incredible. This is kind of the payoff that Sam has from doing a lot of max percent NSJ runs and 21%. That runs too, yeah. So what, we, uh, what Sam is going to go here, uh, what Sam is trying to go for here is a wall crawl that we know at, uh, as IBBF, Ice Beam Before Flagra. Norm and under normal circumstances, players would have space jump for this. Sam needs to do a very complex bomb jump, what we call an HPJ, to get out of bounds here without space jump though. Wait, did Schwartz not dupe light suit? Uh, he's going to now. Okay, okay he's gonna get it. I was just like, oh yeah, <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> uh, what just happened to Schwartz? Oh no, no, Schwartz crashed. Oh, you're kidding. Watts GFMC, not... please! Watts did not do the item before picking up ship. That tends to crash. Oh, that's, that's really unfortunate. I think Swartz had just saved, but... Oh, that's, that's just that is not time loss that they need right now. That's just hemorrhaging more time for... Uh, for Gase yeah. and Luca to, to... I mean, it's still not a huge... I don't know if this is like a really a big lead for... Uh, Partners in Prime, but that's just more it's more of a cushion for them. Also, I like how we're 50 minutes in, and we still have only found one beam. And we have For no both space players. Jump. Oh, we have one space jump for Echoes, and at least they have Screw Attack too, but... Yeah, but like, Echoes, I feel, can do more without space jump than Prime can do. <laughs> like, Prime is... Go oh, that oh, was... Sam almost got it. Like, Prime really needs that space jump at some point, too. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, if this is anything important in Poison Bog, um, okay, it's not, but... Oh, oh there's a beam. a beam. No, uh, oh, that's wow. Wind. Okay, uh, Luke, that's huge. Looking to get that right now. I'm telling well, you, I'm telling you, the plays, the plays, yeah, yeah. just frame perfectly morph underwater and get wave yeah, beam. So, so what we're now going to see is air underwater while frame perfectly morphing on the frame where Samus enters the water. We can basically allow Samus to screw attack underwater and reach that item without having to use graph boost. Dace is, is ready. Just like, I want it! Hmm. Okay, so it's not too much time loss for Schwartz. But man, that was unfortunate. There we go with right, the air underwater. Gets it. Oh, that was. I do. Crazy. That's so easy to do. I do that all the time. Yeah, but I Beautiful was bonk. kind of scaring about the uh, camera clipping up. Oh yeah, then you have to go for it again. Yeah. Also, fifty minutes in, and we only now got the most important beam Prime has. Okay, what's a tower chamber? Ah. Uh. No, no. Tower of Light could have something. Uh, yeah, but the question is, will they spawn jump up to peek it? Nope. No. I wonder if... So if I were Dace, i could actually probably take this a little slow. Because it's starting to look like SJ is going to be in Torvis. Yeah. Or unless it's somehow in sync, but... I don't know yet. Um, but the other thing... Oh, you know what? Like, actually, this is fine. Because, like... I think Dace is just going to go check uh, the training chamber rooms, which are both uh, open, actually. <laughs> Sunburst. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, it's an artifact on Grapple Ledge. Okay. I mean, if this were, like, early Sank SJ, it would be annoying, because it's basically just all to get... Power bombs and light beam. Like, uh, logical power bombs for echoes. Yeah. Which I don't believe have been found yet. Just. I think only Prime 1 mains have been who discovered. Knows, who knows? Maybe we have some beautiful. It should be right light here. Light beam in ATS. <laughs> this seed has potential, to say the least. Nothing in the train. That's disgusting. <laughs> ATS light beam. My first ever Echoes race, I oh, no. took part and had that. Notice. It's and been I nice. We have French vanilla no, supers. French vanilla supers. <laughs> so good. French vanilla supers. Uh, okay, I did not notice if either Prime player checked the, the tree with the um, we the method. To. So There's an artifact. We have an artifact in main plaza. But the, oh, was it in the tree? Okay. Never mind. Every other item wasn't it, so we have the info about it. Yeah. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Gotcha. Uh, wait. I thought I saw an artifact. Were there two main plaza artifacts, or just one? No, only one. That were hinted. I saw a blue thing in. What should we call it? Uh, spider. No, but grapple edge. What's grapple edge? Oh, tree was still checked regardless. Okay, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Imagine checking the tree. Yeah, it says tree on. <laughs> I heard you had some experience on that. Sam <laughs> is like the biggest fan of this wall crawl. He's <laughs> just going for it again. Let's see. Is, what, what would this, would this... Oh, is this just an alternate... Is this just so... <laughs> they don't have to go out of bounds in, gra in, uh, in Gathering Hall? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's... I, I respect... I respect this. Yeah. So I I uh I agree with what Luke is doing here. Just clean out Lower Torvis. You could just do, you could go out of bounds and skip the Emerald Gate, or even do a. Um, oh wait, no, you can't do Forgotten Bridge because that is closed off. You would need to go out of bounds. Also have a beam to get back, but you could get into Forgotten Bridge without Light Beam if you had Annihilator Beam and then went to Portal Chamber, wall crawled to it, and then went back 
to, to the light world that way, but that's not that's not expected for these trick settings. What was up there? That looked important. Is that just a ammo? Uh, I don't think that what was that. Dace is at least rolling. Nah, I think nah. that. Oh, that might have been unlimited ammo. That was like that looked like a large item model, or double damage. I mean, we have all the items to grab it on the vanilla way. Oh, Schwartz decided to go for the Great Temple play. This is risky. Oh, oh, shoot. Wow. Um, well, wait, how would... You have to wall crawl in. Oh, no, you could just go in through GFMC. You can go in for GMFC, but you won't get out. Yeah. Okay, this is a soft love. Uh, I mean, you could wall crawl, but Swords is not Yeah, you could. It. You could. You. I guess you could. You must have. But still. Oh! Echo Visor was found. Oh, wait, what? Transport A access to Echo Visor. Nice uh, air underwater for Luca. Another power bomb expansion doesn't hurt either. Surprised they didn't. So I would have. Um, um, yeah. So what I normally do here is I do I do the light. I do the door to gathering hall, um, like the the platform for that, and then I'll like screw attack over to dungeon side. Though I guess you could also do the dark door instead, like one of the two, and then open up the one for the the platform that goes to this room yeah. for the secret door, and then leave one alone. The only off chance that gravity boost is just vanilla. It seems like we're not going for sync right here. Alright, Sam made it out of uh, Watery Hall. Still stuck in access, but... Oh man, has to do these sideways Aether jumps NSJ. <laughs> well, not even just NSJ, but just in Prime. <laughs> just out of my own curiosity, did any of the X oh. players scan Ing Reliquary? <laughs> um... I don't know. I want to say that Schwartz could have, but... Well, Schwartz definitely could have, but... I don't recall if that happened or not. Phase on Grounds, out. unfortunately, doesn't have anything. Uh... So I'm unsure what Schwartz is doing, because he does not have Dark Visor to go check this. And you cannot We're get the in Dark World either. Yep, you realized. Okay. Alright. Honestly, though, still... I mean, it's still good for Schwartz to route this in. Um, phase on Grounds is a pretty easy-to-miss item. It's very... Pol like, it's one of those, like... Okay, like, is my other beam just locked behind a point of no return to Dark World? Um, but since we already saw the... I think we saw both players dive into Dark Labs, right? So, or at least... Yeah. I want to say Luca did, but... Waltz also, I think, was in Dark Labs already. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's Gravity Boost! <laughs> oh. <laughs> barely doesn't get in the elevator. <laughs> That's what it was. Okay. Oh, well, so that was Tree was? That was, uh... Was that Tree? Oh, we found the other suit too. That was, that was antechamber. Apparently, wait, wait, what? Oh no, 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 no! I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking. No one's been to antechamber yet. I'm, I'm, I'm paying too much attention to chat. No, Sam's giving. It was a Sam's match. giving their best. To Sorry. Antechamber. Oh my goodness! I swear, I, I swear, I think I have ADHD. <laughs> I need to like figure out whether I actually do or not. This this tournament format is so great if you have an attention span like me. <laughs> where it's just like good luck good luck getting all the information possible. Let's just one guy beam boostball, one person screw attacks, the other person is fighting a bamboo. 
<laughs> the other person's low minds and you won't be able to see anything. <laughs> Okay, so Gravity Boost, I think, was in Plaza, but I don't know if it was Tree or um, Ledge. I think it was Tree. Yeah, it must be. Oh, that's an Annihilator! Oh, that's big. Okay, that's huge. Um, okay. Uh, so, let's see here. Um, TTS. TTS could also have something big. That's also, they have Spider and Boost. So Gathering Hall could also have something big. And that gets that additional, um, oh, they don't have Emerald though, so never mind. So wow. What's dungeon? Um, okay. Uh. Beam related. Interesting. Th that might not end up mattering, but I mean, I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Beam upgrade in dungeon. Oh, Sam got the HPJ up. Nicely done. Very nice. Very, very well done, uh, Grapple Skip. Unfortunately, it's uh, all it is is going to bring uh, Sam and Parody, or, or Ultimate Hope and Parody with Partners in Prime on, on that SDK. Yeah. But, it I mean, appears, there's not much Sam can do, so. It appears that Dace is interested in Workstation. <sighs> Just, Swartz really needs to go into, into Torvis. But they're going back into labs. Well, yeah, but Schwartz also needs the supers. I mean, let's see, so like gravity boost it. Yeah, so yeah, you had to dive into, yes, you had to dive into Torvis anyways. Oh, yeah, that's his... You yeah. you need so best case would be you need those supers to reach French vanilla supers in Torvus Temple. So the Prime reaches Grafton in the yeah. main plaza so that you get wave beam it's insane. for Prime and then get your own annihilator. Yep. <laughs> the logic chain uh, the logic chain on this is against something I've never even seen before. <laughs> And Sam's going to be going out of bounds again. <laughs> I'm just wondering, did Sam not realize that supers were up there? Or did Sam never oh. peek up a furnace? Well, oh my goodness. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait, that was, oh, I thought that was lower furnace. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's. No, it was up. Oh, furnace. wow. Is, we have every item to reach. So this is, yeah, so this is an actual, oh my goodness. I just. I'm sorry that took so long for me to realize that. That's... Oh, my... Oh, this is troubling. I mean, it's been troubling, but good... Wow. Yeah, Echo Supers can, from distance, easily be mistaken. And Upper Furnace is not the easiest item to be seen mm -hmm. anyway. The problem usually is it's, usually is Echo's almost... players do that, but I guess Prime players can do it too. As far as... We know, if we didn't misread the hint, we have both space jumps and echoes. So, uh, this has happened before. Ice cream and plasma? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Me, I was looking away for five seconds. What the hell I was happened? too, what the heck? And there's Violet! <laughs> Amazing. Violet on Alpha Block. Oh my goodness. Watch transports uh, B have something. Yeah, this is just oh man, this is this is. There's just more. There's just more optimization for partners in prime. That's uh, five more hints that Lucarius can get to d figure out like okay, what's where. And Dace is just going for Thardis Plasma. Okay. Oh, well, Iceman was a workstation. <laughs> Plasma's TTS? TTS? Wow. So just the most loaded lower Torvis. Okay. Or most lord loaded Torvis, excuse me. Goodness. Also, this is, is this exactly this is exactly what I was talking about earlier when oh, I said the slowest starting seats can turn into jet seats so incredibly mm -hmm. fast. Like, 40 minutes we had wave beam. <laughs> 20 minutes later we have every beam in the game. Where are the prime space <laughs> jump boots? <laughs> It's gonna be like SJ Go mode for for Prime.
Yeah, yeah I don't. Really Sam doesn't realize that they're not actually in BK. They have to go. They have to go to Furnace. So yeah. I think I think Sam did the thing that a lot of Echoes players do. Is see the supers at a distance, not realize that it's actually supers, and thinking it's a missile expansion. And that's just, just really, really detrimental. It's just, it's a real unfortunate thing to see. That's just one benefit the prime players have is that supers and missile launcher just do not look anything alike. But this is the, this is game one, so I mean, if anything, you, this is the, if anything, the beginning of group stages where you do risky stuff like this and then refine your routing and refine your knowledge and refine uh you know uh mitigate the mistakes you made in previous matches yeah oh that looks really close but again sam sam needs to go to furnace and sam doesn't realize that it's open i want to really say that those are by the way the race nerves ca catching sam yeah Only sam does not struggle anywhere mm -hmm. close to this i get with the HPJ. yeah it's the the pressure chick is dead okay is that the first boss that we found yes Nice, Sam. Let's go. This is great. This is this routes right into, uh, um, well, I guess more indirectly into Great Temple. But uh, did Lucarius not get this hint? No, we didn't. No, I think. Oh, you know what? I think Luke is gonna loop back into Torvus anyway. Um. Probably. So we're gonna go in the Great Temple, check transport B, and then get going. Wow. Uh, okay, so Profane Path is gonna end up getting in logic as soon as Lucarius gets that Echo Visor in Great Temple. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. Get ready, for, get ready for Prime Spaceship and Profane Path. <laughs> but Lucarius needs to know that like they still haven't gone through gone into great temple yet and that it's open from well it's not logical yet but well actually it no it, it technically is it, it is. is it is logical through the gfmc visit you can go for gmfc and oh the just the oh there's no discipline there and you're not gonna get emerald here unless uh, okay <laughs> if if emerald is violet locked then that'll that'll save lucarius the trip but i don't know <laughs> like Sam, take a better look at oh, the Oh, Sam item. is cl Okay. Please. Oh, please notice the item. Oh, it's Do right it there. there. Come it. on. Uh, oh, Sam. Okay, so one thing that will maybe save Sam is that if he doesn't save warp and remembers, oh, I have spider boost and power bombs. I can come back through here. Because you don't need any beams to come back from antechamber yeah also this is the most sketchy part of the wall crawl and we triggered the ghost oh, oh. wave was in Torvus lagoon yeah wave was logically locked by both supers you needed uh or yeah because you needed supers to get um into Torvus because annihilator Light beam, we have no idea where it is, and Annihilator is in Lower Torvus. Yeah, so our best play right here. Oh, like, the Logic Chain wanted us to get Super Snap of Furnace. I didn't even check Torvus. what was in. I didn't even check what was in TV Echoes access. Get in Torvus. Echoes go to Torvus Temple. Get Prime Super's French Vanilla in Torvus Temple. Prime get Graph Boost the main plaza tree. Echoes get Wave Beam for Prime Torvus Lagoon. And then Echoes goes down to lower Torvus, gets uh, nuts. Annihilator with one beam. Plasma, <laughs> with one while beam. Prime goes into workstation and gets Ice Beam. <laughs> was the I was like in my head thinking, is this Umos two hint? And it was. <laughs> That's beautiful. Just in the same room. Um. So my bad. I did not see what Lucarius got in Transport B access. I got distracted by uh. Sam's wall crawling. I mean, wasn't it Echo? Uh, oh, Echo I thought it was behind Emerald, but maybe yeah, I'm wrong. Uh, I don't think it could be, because I don't think Swartz went out of bounds to get it. Yeah. 
It's a, tra it's a transport A, which Lucarius is probably realizing, oh, I can go that way now. Yeah, really quick one-two punch for partners in Prime, getting the last two beams for Prime 1. Oh? Uh, Lucarius reset. I'm kind of curious back to, why. Back to Thomas, probably. Oh, that's going to be... <laughs> nice space pirate. Um... Oh, and there's the... Oh! Yeah, okay, so... Um... Okay, those supers are going to lead a gravity boost. Okay, there's still kind of hope for ultimate hope, but... There's still the ultimate hope for them. But Swartz still needs to get supers for endgame, technically. Schwartz definitely could skip supers, depending on where the SDKs are. I've been practicing with them yeah. a lot. The like, even, super skips. like, even if you could have gotten these supers earlier, which would have locked unlocked the gravity boost to do everything for Prime... Or, or, sorry, to get Plasma and such for Prime. Like, still, just the, the fact that it took Schwartz so long to even go into Torvis. Dark Visor here, in laps? Wow. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that still opens up the question, where the hell is Prime Space Jump? Those poor Prime players. Surely and then Luke, Luke is going to go straight for dungeon to see if this is light beam. Yeah, it's definitely the wisest play. I mean, like, if you're suspicious about this hint, then absolutely, like, you go for this. And it's not even the slowest. Mm hmm We still haven't seen Antichamber oh, no. yet from either player. I mean, it sucks because, like, the like only real thing this could be that's important is, like, phase on suit. Yeah, and, we're not... And Dace will eventually go there. We're not missing that much majors anymore. Like, again, Prime can basically fall clear as soon as we get Space Jump. I'm a little space surprised we haven't seen... SDK hints, but I think it's just the, this this hunt for space jump. Yeah, we need space jump before we go for hints. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it really like what if it's in? Hold on, though. Chamber? What if it's in Sky Temple grounds? Oh God. So wait, so anti chamber really was slight suit? Wait, really was it? Wait, how oh. could it be though? No, wait, no. Are we? Hold on. What? Oh, Dace already went to. I thought. I did not pay attention to Dace going into late Chozo. I, uh, well, it makes sense, because you have Wave at that point. The thing is, Light Beam, uh, Light Suit just wasn't, uh, for us, Light Suit wasn't in there, because, well, we had the pleasure of duping our suit. Yeah, you didn't have to even worry. I mean, it has, it has, it has implications for, like, okay, like, is Light Suit going to be needed, but... And there's that wave beam. Okay, so there's a chance, um, but Sam still has to get that super for Schwartz. Now the question is just okay. Sam saw it. Sam definitely. Wow. Saw it. Yeah, Sam's probably been like, "Oh my god, I could have gotten this." But here's the thing, though. Like, I mean, Partners in Prime is still just way ahead on checks. Yes. But I wouldn't say it's over in particular given yeah, I would, the amount of the, SDKs. If if Schwartz somehow finds space jump early or before Partisan Prime do, but I don't even I, I don't even know how that would be realistic to expect or to predict that. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. Like in what world would that even happen? Like just I guess imagine. you could just go into if you hard go into Sank, but Lucarius is still better positioned to 
Do that. Wow, nice. Of, that was a nice little skip there. From hey, Sam. Bash. Yeah. Just from I just imagine the one hint, the one violet hint Lucario skip was the hint for space jump. I mean, yeah. What what is this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I kind of forgot about Amorbus. It's space jump. Um. Like a warp. <laughs> okay. Oh no. That's Wait, grapple. That's grapple. <laughs> wow. That's kind of on the wrong mini boss. And That's kind of loaded. That's kind of a loaded under temple. What the heck? That's kind of a loaded Torvus general. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Still can't go into Forgotten Bridge yet unless you want to wall crawl to or uh, sequence break for it. Well, I guess you have to wall crawl for it, regardless. Wow. Swords is going to be so mad about this Annihilator, too. And the Plasma. Um, Have we seen... I don't think we've seen Luka go back to Dark Labs yet. Like, Incash 2 could also be important. But we know about Echo, though, and that's kind of like the one... Like... Actually, that that Echo Visor straight up like makes light light beam in ATS possible. It also makes space jump in ATS possible. Oh my god! What, the, what if they're both there? <laughs> <laughs> Just oh sitting god. next to each other and sitting there. Huh? When are we going to get picked up? <laughs> no. Oh, we're seeing a we're seeing a first frigate play from, I think either of the prime players. Yeah, the aces are... So the problem is, we don't have oh, that much missiles, options for checks left in Prime, so we gotta go mm -hmm. for NSJ Mines now. I mean, Sam still needs, uh... Ice Beam. Yeah. And also, it's the so... question if Sam routes Annihilator into Plasma, or mm -hmm. uh, if Schwartz routes Annihilator into Plasma, or if Schwartz just save Warps. Mm -hmm. So, I think one thing that could potentially incentivize Lucarius to go back to um, Aegon in the near future, well, A is uh, getting access to Sand Canyon without Light Beam, also, it's a thing. <laughs> oh no, they're in Aegon. So, yeah, Luca can just go. Yeah, I think Lucas is just going to make the push now. Because then also, that gets Battleground out of the way. Oh my god, I just realized something. What is the light beam door next to uh, Mining Station B called? Just imagine... We I'm sorry, was that X-Ray and Tower of Light? I missed that. <laughs> uh, light beam door... Oh, storage A? Yeah, just imagine... I mean, that's... <sighs> it's so with... unlikely, but... Oh no. I mean, oh no! Dace! <laughs> we need to see your game! Okay. Okay. Okay, you scared me. Just imagine it would be there. <laughs> if we fight light people. Yep, anyway. Okay, there's that artifact. It would be. Oh, there's space jump. Wait. It was just. What? Where? Wait, I'm sorry? What? Where? Oh, we're behind. It's just, it's in, it's in, it's, it's in, it's in Warrior's Walk. That's so Phase dumb. Just, That's so dumb. Ahead. What? And then Phazon Sushi could be like, right, because Dace's stream restarted. So it has to be resynchronized. Yeah, I'm honest. Are you able to do that, actually? Yeah. Apologies. I am. I got so confused. Wow. So it actually just was here. Is this Phazon suit? It's not. It's an E-Tank. Okay. Okay, so Dark Labs is open to to Lucarius, but he has to go back to Light World to go there. So we're about to get plasma. That's an awful plasma location, by the way. That's just it's so bad. This whole seat was, uh... You gen this! <laughs> you <laughs> you I, generated this seed! And Jay. I can't say that I'm proud about it, okay? <laughs> I feel like, is that Dark Burst? I no, am it's sorry. Never mind. I am sorry. 
All right, Luca's back in Temple Grounds. Is this going to be? This is going to be transport A access to get Echo Visor because that's kind of the major uh, progression. I mean, like there is a decent bit of Sank open. Um, okay, we'll Sank again. Sanctuary up until uh, like Sank. Uh, well, no, no, most of Sank is open because you have Annihilator and Dark Beam. So even if you go through like main research to reactor core to like go up that way to Sank Temple main gyro area. Like that's just all open. Echo would just make it uh, more Echo would just expedite that process. So the, my biggest question is just how fast will Schwartz go back to Dark Aegon and get that S and get that SJ for Sam? I don't know, but for that to also be hard supers locked for like for echoes is nuts. It's not hard supers locked. You can get you can get warriors walk without supers. I mean, not logically. You need supers to get yeah. it logically. Supers you need logically. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be hilarious because nice that emerald is, translator. That is like the super skip. Uh, Schwartz practiced yeah. today mm -hmm. already. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, we're about to see SDK hints. Yep. Yeah, it's the most logical play right now. At this team, at this point, both teams will probably feel behind because finding space jump that late is just very bad. I am, yeah, I am a little curious about that because, like, yeah, because the BK at the beginning, but they they've had to, they probably had to know that like. Both players had to be in that same position. We have four oh, SDKs found. Fungal Hall access. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, they're more. They're almost in go mode. Storage, Storage cave. cave. Oh my god, that's so. That's, that's bad. Could be worse. Vent area, area A. a. And shaft. And shaft. <laughs> Lots of, yo. Know, we have any HVAC enjoyers this seed? Because this is the you're getting your representation, okay? And this is the fifth one. Uh, vault, sank vault. Okay. So uh, yeah, I think this is just straight up get artifacts, get phase on suit hint for partners in prime. Because if that goes is showing up on the way, basically. Yeah, I have to remember. Well, what are the artifacts were hinted? Because yeah, I mean, the, the fact that Light Beam, uh, Light Beam is not needed for any of these, so... You can get Plaza now. Pot W would logically require Light Beam. Huh? Oh yeah, Pot W requires Light Beam. Wait, what? You have an artifact in Pot W. Oh, is Pot W an artifact? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, never mind. Then... Light Beam go. Okay, Lucas skipped over... Um, to file shrine hit. So they must have gotten the hit and landing site that it was like not a beam upgrade. Um, nice bomb jump for life growth tunnel. Well, we can't get into Pop W, bro. Yeah, you need light beam. You need light oh, beam to remove can... the block. Oh, wait, you can touch the portal from out of bounds. That's interesting. Oh, I um, guess you could do that, yeah. If Lucarius knows this, then yes, we are in go mode. Um, well, up to phase on suit hint we are, because we still need phase well, on yeah. suit. We don't know of any other light, uh, 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 life support systems. It's possible it's just also in, like, mines also, somewhere. Sam, please, Sam! Please be careful, Sam. Ah, Sam's, please. Sam's experienced enough. Pirates are dead. Yeah, it's fine. I feel like we had some kind of this already in the prime tournament with you on the Minecraft. Uh oh yeah, in this exact room, yeah. <laughs> Except the it was with the flying pirates, but Yeah. Dig Wrath, please. Wasn't and then Cosmonaut the also almost died. <laughs> and uh 
in Central Dynamo. Was that week six or week five? Oh, and getting oh, okay. Week. Echo is hinted. So interesting. That might um, that might point to phase on suit or light beam. And also Schwartz now grabbing SDK hints. <clears throat> All right. This is a very out there prediction, but do we have any uh, airy enjoyers this seed? <laughs> like not even just like. I mean, Gyro or Profane Path or Sentinel's Path, like. Just instantly. Hive Gyro or Airy. <laughs> One of those two. I mean, Hive Gyro isn't the worst. Yeah, that you could skip Echo for. Um, it's just kind of out of the way. Though, with Dark Visor being accounted for. And Schwartz does not have Dark Visor yet, so. Well. No labs played just yet from... Well, we're about to see that. To, do you logically need life to reach Aerie? Yes, right? To reach Aerie? Yeah. Uh, so... no, you don't. No, right. You need life beam to reach watch station. Light beam is, yeah, so... light beam is for watch station access. So if light beam would be on Aerie, yes. That would hard require it. But, uh, but if phasing is on Aerie, mm. we could save Wobbo. Yeah. But that echo hint... That echo hint means that it's expected in logic for something. Potentially, yeah. Or Luka, I would, I would just grab that soon-ish. But I mean, Emerald Hints are also powerful, so maybe you can bypass Logic this way. And like, with, even with even without Echo Visor, again, like a lot of Sank is open. <laughs> Imagine Light Beam just sitting here in Underground Tunnel. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, we haven't seen anything hinted for like Plaza oh. or anything like that. No progression in underground tunnel. What? I like how we were almost right about Amorbus having that SJ. By the way, mm. just just a few and rooms off. And bad. speaking of, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I don't I don't know if Luca got a quad hint yet. That's the one remaining boss hint if it's been if it has not been discovered yet. You know, no, let's 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 really suffer. Let's put light beam in sync map. Oh, and then put like Cobalt and Airy. Oh god. No, let's put Phase on Suit and Sync Map and then put Cobalt and Airy. To be honest. That way it actually is required, you know? To be honest, I don't wish that to any of these runners anymore. <laughs> they suffered with that space jump. They have suffered enough. Holy. Look, this is. I'm a, I'm, I'm a Prime series speculator, okay? This is, this is what I like to do. I like to I like to make the most outlandish uh, claims and then be right one percent of the time. Or or phase on just on Philip. I mean, that, that hasn't even be been hinted. Classic. That would be a classic. How many Prime One tourney seeds had Philip with phase on suit again? Like I love at it. least two. I can count four out of my head. <laughs> what was the life support system? Oh, what was that? That was Sank. That was in uh, was that Dynamo Works? I, I just barely glanced at the hint. Okay. That means that's Dynamo Works is double required because Dynamo oh. Works also has this in our thing. Was that Dynamo Works? <laughs> Did I see? I like It had just gone away when I saw that that, that hint. I'm going to go what, when you die. What the heck? Oh, we could have seen it on the Twitch end too. Shoot. Alright, well that's that's go mode. Wait, hold on. Wait, it's just a reactor core. Then yeah, then you're good. Uh Luca apparently doesn't think they're good though. Maybe cleaning out Grapple Guardian? Maybe Oh, they have to do they have to do uh Wait no, what do they have to do? Probably want to enter Sang through low tops. Yeah, but they were on their way to do it. Look who's on his way to do it. Oh, this is getting the last Emerald hit here, I think. Yeah, Phase and Suit Reactor Core. Yeah, so Reactor Core, but maybe he wants Light Beam? Or just wants to be done with this? I'm confused. But this is a huge hint. It is. I mean... 
this gives this gives ultimate hope a little bit more time, but Partners of Prime is firmly ahead here. Yeah. Still no space jump yet for for Prime. Well, again, that that space jump <laughs> is in a very very bad. <laughs> What do we have? Oh, that's so rude. Oh my goodness. Where's Light Beam? Uh, we know where Plaza Beam is. We officially know where it is. Was the hint next to TTS? It was. <laughs> it was. Thank you, Randovania. Thank you. Thank you for providing us with the information we already have. This is the first race! <laughs> This is the first race of group stage. Come on. Like. Well, to be fair, both teams said they want to start the tournament with a banger. Well, not specify they... which way it's just supposed to be a banger. A banger for who, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. To be honest, I think I'm going to get yelled at. <laughs> oh, I think, Daze is, I think Daze is also just looking for light beam just to see if they can route it in. Which is smart. Like. No idea where it is. Well, but... I don't know. Oh, Pod W, it's still required. What am I saying? Well, yeah, okay. Maybe they just maybe it... they aren't aware of touching the portal from out of bounds. Yeah, so, I, I, I I was not myself, so it shows how uh, yeah, how good of a Echoes player I am. Same, but my CGC teammate came in clutch and informed me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. You and I are facing in tournament. Yeah. Uh, soonish. That's gonna be a very, uh, that's gonna be a very good match, I think. Mm -hmm. Especially with me and Reggie setting the logic settings up to intermediate fix. Yeah, I, I don't understand that, but uh, as long as it doesn't throw. <laughs> but then again, well, at least I won't be the one that throws, so it's fine. It's probably gonna throw, but... You How hard will it, it throw, you have to see. You have to see it like this. It can't be worse than Minor Reggie's tournament. So what was in, try and pull wait, it. what was in main research? Luca is going for it. Oh, huh? Oh, okay. Can't be worse than Minor Reggie's uh, seed. In is that Cobalt? Tournament. What is that? Oh no, it's just that I keep seeing the the collision, like the room collision. I think that was just a missile. Also, Dolphin doing yeah. funny business on Lucario's side. Tower of Sight. Oh, yeah! I think so. I didn't notice this, but I think Sam had found X-Ray in Tower of Light. So I think I think X-Ray is a known quantity. Oh, there's phase on, yeah. So if OP has... Okay, there's phase on, too. Yep. Alright, so that is, that is no mode. We just need light... Well, okay, let's go in for Prime. We need Light Beam. For, uh, thing. Also, shoutouts to New Patcher. Randomizes these colors on the Mini Gyro Chamber. Wasn't this, like, just reverse? Okay, Prime is also not in. Emerald, uh, Crimson, Cobalt, Amber? Is this not literally? Oh, never mind. I didn't see it right. Maybe not this time, but... Schwartz has seen Echo, but... Uh, he didn't keep it, because he was technically softlocked. Yeah, and Schwartz is still missing Violet. Yeah. Who, Luca yeah, orphaned the one check at Great Temple, which happened to be Echo Biaster. No, except except they got the hint, though, so... Uh, oh, this and could be unlimited player. beam ammo. This is, a, this is a multiplayer item of some sort. Nope, that was that much. Okay. I always, I'm always thinking, like... I always want to be an unlimited beam, but it's I always, almost always get the double damage instead. To be honest, I don't like unlimited beam. I don't like the multiplayer items in general. They break. They just break the full, like the challenge of echoes, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Especially if you have annihilator. Like if you. Have I get why people like them, but you should not the have to rely on them. The reason why they were added is to not make echoes have the same as prime, where you get plasma and you just use plasma against everything. Because it just is the strongest speed. Hmm. So taking unlimited beam ammo really just makes you overuse annihilator for everything. Ooh, there's an idea, but I don't know if it's possible to execute. What if plasma's damage is based on how many beams you have equipped? That. So if you have, so it's like, it's like 25 per beam. So you have, you'll start with like 50. 
like charged if you like don't shuffle power beam and then getting an extra beam along with it gives you 75 and then all beams give you 100 it's actually an interesting concept well, I swear, I also if like double damage until I'm in, on DS3 and suddenly I can just say, "Well, I have double damage." <laughs> if OP has lights, light beam, mm -hmm. I don't think it does. I don't think OP does, but in the unlikely, oh, there it is. <laughs> Never mind. Yep, it is an MQB. It was just oh my lord. <laughs> How did that almost come into fruition? So, what was Echo needed for then? Like, oh, Echo's okay. I know why Echo's hinted. It's for end game because on beginner settings, I think you're still technically required to have Echo Visor for Dark Samus. As far as I'm logically, aware of, you need as, as far as I'm aware of, you need either Dark Visor or Echo. I thought you needed both, but I could be wrong. I think also that's why you're expected to have Light Suit too. It's like it's a it's logically expected. Well, the problem with that is, uh, yeah. Well, it's either Echo or Annihilator for DS3. Oh, oh, that makes sense too. Yeah, because like yeah, Annihilator homes in. Oh, Spider Guardian's not needed. Okay. Well, or this is just the really good. Wolf. Yeah, this is a very precise instant morph to get, but it's very satisfying I'm, to pull off. I'm always happy when I pull it off, and I'm like, yay, now I can do it consistently, and then the next seat it takes, it's again taking me 20 minutes. <laughs> if it weren't for the artifact in Pod W, I was curious if, like, if Light Suit was going to end up being there, but then <laughs> Light Beam just did not want to be found. Yeah. Crazy. At least we have to see Pot W. So that is that is indeed go mode for Partners in Prime. They have everything. As and far as I'm aware. One hour thirty and then Sam's still missing space jump. Yeah. Oh did Schwartz reset? Or was it a crash? Uh Schwartz is Schwartz oh, did no, something. Sa no, Sam has gravity. Oh, that's gonna make this so much mm -hmm. worse. Still don't have space jump boots yet. I wasn't looking at Schwartz's screen, unfortunately, so I don't know what happened. Oh, Schwartz crashed. Unlucky. Oh, Schwartz force loaded Great Bridge. Ooh, yeah, that that'll that'll do it. I have done that. It is annoying. It's just thing is though is that Schwartz needs to go back to Aegon. Yeah. Also, it's just the inconsistency with the Echo stores that you are allowed to like uh, to force load most rooms, and then there's just very certain rooms where you actually have to hit the load trigger. Mm -hmm. So Lucario still wants to do this because you're logically expected of Cobalt to fight Spider Guardian to get this. And even though you could skip Cobalt by wall crawling from either Sank Temple or Sank Energy, it's just not. Not ideal. Like this is ideally you're you're fast enough. I think look at I think Lucarius needs to be a bit more forward and then morph. Also just needs to be aligned. Again, this is a pretty precise instant morph to get. Yeah, but Lucarius seems to lose uh too low and patience. too far to the left there. Problem is the ceiling is catching Lucarius' height. That's bad. Oh there we go. Oh, I was like, that was good. <laughs> and then it worked out. <laughs> There we go. Mm. Oh no. Yeah, those boots are not Schwartz, lit up for Sam. I think Schwartz is realizing. Oh no. Prime Space Jump was in Warrior's Wall. It wasn't even hinted either, which is like... Nope. Also Unhinted dumb. Warrior's Wall with Super Sting on... Upper furnace and you having to be in top is when you get supers for having the best outcome.
So Prime only still only has four out of twelve artifacts. Um, I know Echoes has a decent number of them. I should go back and like double check what those were. You said you you wrote down the Prime artifact hints, right? Yes. If you give me one second, our Prime artifacts are Main Plaza, Pot W, Storage Depot A, Ice Rooms East, Dark Torvis Arena, Bio Containment, Under Transit One. Forgotten Bridge and Dynamo Works. Well, they're still, they're still pretty spread. Interesting. So Light Beam is also logically needed for um, Dark Torvus Arena. Yeah. Because the beginner doesn't expect you to do Forgotten Bridge, or uh, the single room out of bounds to get into Portal Chamber. Mhm. Mm Which Lucarius can do, but. I love Vault. So good. How far does one of your SDKs wants to be? Yes. Beautiful bunk. Nope. We got Terminal Fall to the other side again. Oh, Swords realized. Oh, oh yeah, and under transit one, which you can. Okay, so that you can bypass by. I think this might be in beginner two, like beginner knowledge. Um, so there's a crystal that's technically like a force field that's technically a one way only because you're expected to come in with light beam to the other side to even reach that part of crypt. Mm -hmm. But you can deactivate it from the other side with a screw attack. <clears throat> I don't know if that's necessarily in beginner, but it's very easy to do. Okay. Alright, now he's saying that the crystal is intermediate. Okay, so. Also but technically light being required. What should be aware of the crystal being screw attackable? What's up? Schwartz should know about that though. Uh maybe? I feel like I feel like it's pretty common knowledge, but Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm limited by um, my own perspective, admittedly. So. But the thing is, is that there's only one way to actually get in there, and that's through Transport Tunnel South, and then you, you take the portal. And Lucarius does not have to worry about that because Light Beam was found just in a. Beautifully late game spot. <laughs> MQB. Oh my god. How do I explain this to any normal person that we have li uh, that I have gen something this bad? <laughs> I promise it wasn't always like this. There were times where I gen good seeds. I mean, this is still reasonably jet. Like this is. Probably going to be around the two-hour mark for Partners in Prime. I wouldn't even say that this would be a Goebbels seat. This is even worse. <laughs> worse than a Bash seed? Probably. I feel like this has the trappings of a Bash seed, but... Like, I thought the last seed I made Reggie play was bad. Then Reggie showed me a seed. To show how bad Reggie can gen. And now this, I think, overturns the seed from Reggie again. This logic chain is really bad. Oh, Ice Spreader up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, the thing is... Did Dace get Storage Cave? I don't think so. He can go there. Or is this the ship safe already? I... Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. I think Dace is gonna beeline it to... Wait. Oh, hold on. 
Oh no, 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 Dace got it. This is the last SDK. This is the last SDK for Lucarius. I see. So both players have every artifact. Lucarius hadn't SDK. gotten this yet. Okay. Wait, so this is an artifact. I'm sorry, this is an artifact. Um uh hold on what did huh unless dace is like well i'm already in talent so i might as well just fight ridley and then also dace is standing still you're not going to get the artifact <laughs> unless you move It's a weird Prime 1 quirk, but apparently you have to walk around. As far as I'm aware, Dace got the artifact already. So Dace currently has 6 out of 12. Oh, never mind. Yeah, Dace is way... I... So that's Pod W and... still missing? Let's see, we have Pod W, we have, uh... Oh, Forgotten Bridge is one, too. Forgotten I think Bridge? it's just, I think it's just the Torvus ones that are left. But... Yeah, Dark Torvus Arena, Pod I W, think, Forgotten Bridge. I Forgotten think Bridge. Dace needs to get that last SDK for Lucarius. How much SDKs do Luc does Lucarius Lucarius has eight right now. And all five of all five of the remaining hints were in Prime One. No, no, sorry. Uh, Sank Fortress Fault was one of them. But oh, what the? Oh, can we? Uh... Hold on, sorry. What the heck is going on? I'm sorry, my audio is screwed up here. I can't hear anything. Mine too. Uh... It looks like there is a problem with Lucarius' stream right now. Here, can we move the audio to? Uh... Yeah. To Dace. Already oh, or someone. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that like really got it's me my ear there. Oof. Probably just a crash on the video right now. I think it's a sh the stream or Twitch end yeah. or something. The stream died. Now we just gotta look, take a look. My left ear is already damaged too, so perfect. Lucarius crashed, but Lucarius is making a local recording. OBS doesn't want to connect. Oh, rip. Well, it's a good thing that they did have the local recording going. You, you absolutely as a racer should have that going in case Twitch yes. goes down. That is also one of the biggest recommendations that we have for every runner. And it's sad multiple times to... Please always provide a local mm -hmm. recording. Oh, it looks like Lucarius. Swartz is going back to Aegon. Gonna finally get those space jump boots. Yeah, okay, Lucarius stream is back. We just need to get that. Back. I think it was just the stream went down, not that his computer crashed. Sorry, didn't mean to imply that. So, oh, yeah, no, again, that again, Dace is missing an SDK. Or, sorry, sorry, Lucarius is missing an SDK. I am seeing that there are eight out of nine, which means Dace needs to go to Fen, but Dace is not moving, and this would be the opportune time to get it without time loss. So I am. Con it's possible they just didn't. They haven't checked the SDK count. I'm gonna be. I should be charitable here. We got the pleasant uh, town overworld two music at least. Yeah. Oh, maybe... I'm just confused because... I believe all the remaining keys that Lucarius needed outside of Vault were in Prime 1. When they... Because I remember Lucarius was the first to check SDK hints. And I wrote down the hints from Lucarius's end. They're Fungal Hall Access, Storage Cave... Vent area A. Oh, vent area A. Shoot. I didn't think about that. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Dace, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For some reason, I was conflating the two ventilation rooms for some reason. 
on Bash Prime. I'm gonna rightfully get penalized in this tournament for uh for being a rude dude. So I don't know what's wrong with the stream out there. You can't restart the stream at all from Lucarius's end, because it looks like Lucarius is back on Twitch, but we'll try to get him back on the restream. Oh. Well. <laughs> yeah, this is somewhat on SG. I'm, I, am, I am DMing a speed gaming stuff right now. Yeah, like, I can see Lucarius' stream working fine on Twitch itself. Yeah. Do you have the ability to refresh it on the restream at least, or no? I tried it. Like, okay. when it first crashed, right. I had to refresh the stream. Alright, I reached out I reached out to speed gaming staff. This will hopefully be taken care of soon. I think this is out of out of uh the TO's hands at the moment. Yeah. That seems to have fixed, but we still have, never mind. <laughs> Don't have said anything. Don't tell the runners that, oh, wait, did I imply that I did that? I did not mean to say that. I meant, I meant to say, I said speed gaming stuff. Wait, what? Oh, Lucarius was talking about was in race time. Okay, sorry, I was uh, I admittedly put myself out of the loop there by not checking. Lucarius is back on Twitch, so yeah, it's just a matter of somehow getting this refreshed on the speed gaming end, which. I don't think either of us here on commentary can do. I mean, we can at least kind of figure what Lucarius is doing. Um, is it possible Tio could DM staff at all? All right, I'm not gonna worry about it. I I can't do anything about it, so. But yeah, just clean up on uh, Lucarius' end. Still had like another couple of um, artifacts to get. Oh, we're back. We're so back. Oh, no. Too premature. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? Okay, that's the last right. artifact for days. I know it says 9 out of 12. There are 9 artifacts shuffled uh, in this preset. Uh, normally there are 12, but to make Prime Rando better, uh, usually players prefer somewhere between like 6 artifacts and 9 artifacts. So for for solo tournaments, you'll usually see 6 shuffled, and then for multi-worlds, it's uh, you commonly see 9. Sometimes 6, though. Depends on what the settings are, yeah. what players agree to. So this is a very... That space jump was probably the game changer. Um... I think it was just Torvis. Like, it was a couple of things. So it was Torvis and diving into Torvis. Yeah, Sam that... missing supers to make going into Torvis make sense logically. That and was the uh first big, yeah. that was the first big problem but i think the biggest problem was just really that space jump was in a bad position and sam is still playing on his j to this yeah. point yeah casino casino space jump for prime definitely the cherry on top i think because i mean okay sam is a very good nsj run and sam is speed running nsj in the last time but still even if you're 
even if you would be the best prime runner there is, uh, even if you're the best prime runner there is, NSJ will still cap your or limit you in how you can play and how, what you can do. My super to finish off Ridley. Oh, beautiful cutscene skips. I, I'm so glad they're they're in prime. Oh, will we see what I hope to see? What, just scanning it anyway? <laughs> no. No safety safe, so we're not going to see it. Oh, oh, exoskip, yeah. I did I not think about that. Days. I don't think Dace knows it. I teach it to Dace. Oh, you said you... Sorry, I literally did not listen for some reason. I... Okay. I might or might... I might have... I might or might not have teached one of the most dangerous players from the last CGC teach Exoskip. <laughs> but well... It's not gonna be seen today, unfortunately. Yeah, so again, I was wrong about the SDK thing. I do apologize about that. Uh, it was just the last Aegon key that... Or the last key was an Aegon. And Lucarius just needed to route it in. And I think Lucarius also got a ship save right there. Uh, yeah, yeah so that refilled their ammo. Nine. nine out of nine, yep. Yeah, they're done. That's not true. I'm not, a, I'm not too excited about it. Exactly. There's I mean, extra skip is important. Often, at the top level, it saves a lot of time. It's hard, but... Can save a very big amount of time, yeah. Well, not as big anymore, since... <laughs> not as big anymore, given that competitive cuts and skip makes Essence a really fast fight, especially if you have a load of, like, this way of ice spread or super results. I uh, love, uh, I love this text on towards the screen still. For the, for the very, very slim chance that Ice Beam can be skipped in a seat like this, uh, Extra Skip can be very powerful. Okay, I've gotten word that we are attempting to get Lucarius back, uh, on the stream here, so hopefully within uh, in a little bit of time here, we'll be back. This final for, bosses for, for uh, Lucarius are going to be very quick, so we yeah. still might we st It's going to be close. I'm not sure who's going to end up finishing first because we're already in. September 3. I'm gonna put my money Dazed. on Lucarius for the reason that Daze does not have X-Ray. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. So vice versa essence. So for the people that don't know this boss, Metro Prime is split into two different parts. Where in the first fight, the gameplay focuses on having all four beams, which concludes five subchambers. In the first one, we only have wave and power that Axel could choose. In the second one, Ice Beam gets mixed into the pool. Fourth one has Plasma Beam. A uh, third one has Plasma Beam. And fourth one is the Chaos Chamber, where Axel will just go crazy. And with the fifth one, we enter the second fight, where the focus is more going to be on the visor and phases you being required to enter hype mode and being able to see essence. Now that I think about it, this is really the only part where you see, or like, this is the only Primian outside of Corruption where you see Hyper Mode. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting that they, like, remembered what they did for the that part of the fight and decided to make it a, a uh, real gimmick. an actual mechanic, yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe Dates will be first. So we're only on Emperor 2 right now. Yeah, this this is... 
Dace is about a minute to two minutes away, depending on how the how the attack canceling goes without X-ray. Yeah. Also, this is. Uh, I mean, it's also the first pool, so. I'm not it sure. It shouldn't be too bad, depending on how the attack counts really are. This is a good position. I think, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be somewhat close. So what's going to be talked about here is that something we call cruise ships. <sighs> that might basically, be fine. there's two ways how we wanna hit the, uh, how we wanna hit asses. Okay, Dace just decides to spray it down. Okay. Probably the wisest decision if you don't have the wiser. But Dace missed. A lot of the pipe mode, so that's not that much damage. So basically, gonna... how this works is uh, we use something called attack cancels for the first two pools, which means we shoot it, let it get into the hit stun animation, and then let it go into an uh, let it go back to the idle animation and shoot it again. That way, we guarantee it can't pool skip us. Pool skipping would be there's a it's also a time saver because it will all it'll always uh immediately do its next attack after it gets hit stunned. Exactly. So it expedites the next pool being laid as well. Yes. So there's a region in this room. It is very close to the remains of Exo, of the exoskeleton, where the essence can pool skip us. Which basically means we, uh, it will go into the next visor, but it won't lay a pool, which is a huge Ooh, time. Loss safe there. Dark Tam's force skip happening here on the carries' end. So I think it's a little bit faster to, to do this with uh, screw attack instead of Dark Beam, but Dark Beam is consistent, and that is time for the carries. G. With our next G happening in just a bit here. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> So oh, close. Good. Yeah. The next pool's gonna be it. I like how close these finish times are for uh, for both the Dace and Lucarius. Yeah, it's rare that both players finish on basically the same time. So I'm pretty sure not a single one of the runners expected this to be a two hour seat. I'm not sure, like, what you would even expect. Just, just be prepared, I guess, for it being a really weird layout. Yeah. Also, what really helps for partners in Prime is that I believe they've done a lot of multi bowl practice together, which helps too. And that is time for days. That is time for days with an official race time end of 2 hours, 1 minute and 50 seconds and the immediate forfeit of Samuel and Schwartz. I mean, I huge props to Sam though for uh, for sticking hello. it out. The whole hello, time. Hello. hello. We now hello. greet the team. Hello, partners in Prime. How do you feel? Oh, that seed was. Oh, you are a devil, Jay. That was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Space jump at an hour seventeen. That was so rough. <laughs> oh, sorry. It, like it looked good at some points. It just kept getting worse. It just never yeah. recovered. It, the early game looked good. I mean. Up till like wave beam, it looked good. Everything it, after it was very, very slow, and that that logic chain was: you get up a furnace, so Lucarius can get into Torvus, get your French vanilla supers, yeah, for you to get graph boost, for Lucarius to get wave beam, it going into the hello uh, going into where is hello beam? Uh, hello. do you want to know where Space Jump is? MQ. I, I don't care where the spaceship is. Where's my fucking light beam, please? <laughs> MQB. Uh, what? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, I was just as surprised. Oh, it was <laughs> bad, <laughs> man. Everyone was surprised. Everyone. I can remember the uh, the Twitch chat just going crazy about it. And uh, I have also bad news. Prime Space Jump was Casino uh, Warriors Walk. <laughs> so you needed uh, those supers. Yeah. Man, that well, is so bad. <laughs> we were we were theorizing that it was probably Battleground or something was in there because of just how early those supers technically were. 
that mm-hmm. Sam didn't get. Oh, yeah, God, Sam, super Sam missed supers and tried to do space jumpless IBBF for a long time until finally getting them. Wow. Wow. So the logic chain was Prime gets supers. For Echoes to get into Torvis, get French Vanilla Supers, for Prime to go to Main Plaza, get Graph Boost in Tree, mm-hmm. for Echoes to get Wave Beam, go into Lower Torvis, get Annihilator, go into TTS, get Plasma Beam, <laughs> and then go all the way to Aegon to get Space Jump for Prime. <laughs> oh. This was... Yeah, because like, really... that warrior was early, but for the longest time it was out of logic. So like, okay, what can it be? Yeah. yeah, we played course. very conservatively this game. Like no, no aggressive plays, no nothing, because we were so worried about that Varia suit logic chain. Mm-hmm. We had no clue where that beam was the to open that too. up. Did but you guys find annihilator then? We did, yeah. You had to, yeah. Yeah. Wait, for... Varia wasn't logic, wasn't? You it was up by to... annihilator, I think. Yeah, you need to return to the light world. To oh, get right. Yeah, back you need to the various suit. Yeah, my oh, station B. Oh, God. Logically, you need to go through Dark World. Yeah. Also, the logic train even worse. Also, <laughs> yeah. logical Omega Pirate seed. What was on Omega Pirate? Cobalt Translator. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Oh, no. I didn't no. see that. Dude. Oh, and uh, Dace didn't check it, but uh, I think X Ray was in. Uh, was it Tower of Light? It's Tower of Light, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sam, we have no space jump. Love my. <laughs> wow. Dude, yeah, Sam, that's rough. This C could have been so much better yeah. if the translators were actually good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's 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 the risk of not prioritizing them, and even then, that could still not even matter if the high priority takes precedence, because that's the that is the like monkey's paw of shuffling Violet and then unlocking Aegon from the start. Yeah. Is that it could yeah. be anywhere. True. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Amazing. What do we have? Oh, sorry, area. Flame from an area. <laughs> oh, what was an area? Flame yeah. Oh. I, was thinking, I, was, I was like hoping that like Cobalt would be an area for Sank Map to be phase on suit. And then the hint got found and I was disappointed. <laughs> so where's um, that area? Oh my goodness. Also, oh, hello, 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 Sam. Hello, Welcome. Sam. Hello. Okay. Um, sorry, hello? I was having great limited issues. I'm sorry. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, that seed was so bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have one very obvious question, and you probably already know what I'm going to ask. Your yes. answer is Warriors Walk. I thought so. <laughs> Yeah, and then, is, which is and then, reviewing it back hilarious because it was the super skip I was going through with Schwartz. Yeah. And the super skip Schwartz was even practicing today. Yeah. And I mean, that like. Was such a... I did hot dog supers pretty badly. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> could, well, yeah, it's the weird thing is, like, it could have worked out in a way if, if, uh, if Schwartz had gone to Torvis sooner. Because you weren't. All you were locked. Like, you had to get the Prime 1 supers, but then, like, I think those supers really only locked, like, Prime they 1 locked... Space Jump. I mean, okay, only, but... Um, they locked a Grab yeah, Boost. Or, or grab sorry, boost. Prime, two, uh, tri- Prime 2 supers, I mean, sorry. Oh, Prime 2 supers. Locking su- Space Jump that way. So, like, mm-hmm. the, the the Space Jump wasn't... I don't think the missing Space Jump was what determined this race. I think it was definitely, like, a cherry on top because it was Casino... But, um, but yeah, I think I think even even with the super missile hot dog, I think had if Schwartz, I think if you had entered Torvis and started doing Torvis stuff mm-hmm. like sooner, I think it would have potentially been closer. But I'm I am admittedly speculating, so I don't know. I I routed getting the amber hints really poorly, and also uh, I got I got super baited by the major upgrade in main reactor. <laughs> yeah, being grapple. Yeah, that being oh, yeah. grapple, and then that <laughs> actually turned out to be kind of important. You know, <laughs> NSA without grapple is not great. Yeah, yeah. shout out to Sam for being a max percent many... NSJ runner. I like how yeah, you yep. tried doing Gathering Hall Secret World, went to Watery Hall instead, 
and then went back to gathering all the Jewish again. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, absolutely I think, amazing. <laughs> I listen. I wanted to do IVF, but as I was doing it, I'm like, mm, maybe I should try and get Magpul instead because I wasn't sure you could do Magpul inbounds because I tried UBJ mm -hmm. in the first time, and it gave me that like that. I don't know how to describe sort of drag down when you try and get through the surface of something and more. Yeah. I never thought about holding on the wall until I went back to try it again in bounds. I was the bond and gathering home. Like, you know what? Screw this. Let's just mess around with it. And I figured it out. And thank God I wasn't punished for it. Because if Magapool was a major, that would have been real bad. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess it was a major, but you know what I mean? Yeah. The funny thing was, is that in the middle of that IBBF, he peeks at Furnace and he's like, oh, you, for Upper Furnace oh. is your supers. And he's like, oh, Upper <laughs> Furnace yeah. is your supers. Those are... <laughs> entirely in logic right now and i checked it earlier and i'm like oh this is a missile and it's hard to see too the, because you're nsj the, i only saw like the the like the orange and i'm like oh it's just a missile i you, mean i guess oh, it's a missile but <laughs> you can so bomb please. jump up to the ice store and actually scan it yeah i know but i thought i'd just be able to peek it from that and i so mean fun i kind of did fun fact besides of early game the games were super synchronized and Partners in Prime got into lead in the moment they got Varia, with Frost immediately going into Magmore and Sam doing Flyra first. Uh, uh, well, I did Flyra first because I didn't have her at that point. Yeah, but like, the Schwartz found Echo unhinted. Schwartz went into uh, Great Temple through the elevator yeah, in, yeah, uh, yeah. what's it called? It transports. Yeah. And Lucarius went through the violet gate and did not find Echo, and we were like, if Echo is now required, Lucarius isn't, yeah. finding, it, uh, isn't finding it. Oh, yeah. never mind, there's the hint. Where, where was Dark Visor, by the way? I don't what think we that? found that. Or did we did. Uh, Dark... You did. Uh, Lucarius did. It was, uh, let me get my spreadsheet here real quick. Oh, I didn't write it down. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> um, oh my god. No, it, it was in Prime, I believe. Or, yeah, yeah, sorry. It was in Prime. Um, where was that? That was in. Oh, that was in the lab of Hydra, I think, right? Yes. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That was that. I never lab did labs. Oh, Dude, I, I didn't you could have at least gotten me that emerald. Uh... <laughs> I love how both. Well, the... listen, man. I was NSJ and Frozen Pike. I was do trying to do the far fan loop for a hot minute. I was trying to do and like the twenty one percent Vendrana's you're, edge. You're right. That that yeah. that is bad. Like I know the BSJ. I'd grinded it out, but. <sighs> It's like, yeah. I, and when I fell, it's really hard to recover from that. And I had so much other stuff I could do. It's just really hard to route in that stuff, especially without grapple. Yep. But yeah. I mean, I got to do a lot of NSJ shenanigans, which I imagine people found cool. Yeah, that sounds interesting. I want to watch that. Yeah. Two hours of no space jump does some things to a man. <laughs> it's, it's really funny. All of these like past CGC races... For like the seating races, I have skipped a major progression for Sam, and he has just been having to deal with it the whole time. I mean, I, like, just, I just I just try and skip it. Yeah, the, like the past like seeds, it was Spider that I kept skipping, and him just having to do a bunch of Spider skips. And this time it was Space Jump. Yeah, right? it was it, it was the big one. Yeah. When did you guys find Space Jump? How long? Uh, one hour that? and seventeen minutes on the dot. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it was yeah. still it's still really late. Yeah, yeah. I was apologizing yes. to Days at that point that I found it <laughs> so late. Seeds like these are the absolute worst, where Prime is just kind of BK'd if you don't find that big item, and then uh, BK quote unquote, so, yeah, yeah. So Echoes has an unhinted item that you just gotta look for, and then for example, Super shows up here. Which opens up well Warriors Walk, but also the entirety almost of Torvus. Oh yeah, so Torvus is like Torvus. So was that's the so difficult loaded. thing i feel like your best bet there and i've learned this from like doing solo like cross game stuff too i feel like when you're in that position where you're possibly getting casinoed by an or like a, like an admittedly like early to mid game item like that is you start off early with your earlier checks that mm. got into logic yeah. earlier but like got orphaned so like egg on to that but it's also hard because like torvis ended up just being so loaded so yeah yeah i it's it's hard to make like there's no real like I would say like it's hard to say there's like a correct decision given the con like that context. Also, um, but also I think what kind of helped too was that life support system hint. I think you had remembered that Lucarius, maybe, because um, that could have been phase on suit. 
For but then it was a bait. I didn't get that hint. For uh, <laughs> Bal oh, sorry, Battleground. Yeah, I never uh, got that hint. Oh, I thought you did. I'm sorry. I saw I saw Schwartz get it. Nah. The dark um, suits in DFMC was so funny though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Free, free light suit was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, right after doing NSGIVF, I'm just meeting with a suit. Just like, well, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, video game. Mm -hmm. That was a really rough NSGIVF. I, I'm, I used, I'm mostly good at that, but I need to derust on max percent NSJ. I'm hoping to grind it out so I can take world record because, mm -hmm. trust me, max percent NSJ is super unoptimizer right now. So, because nobody wants yeah. to. Yeah, it's also super useful for a rando, I think. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. seeds like this. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. it was. It was crazy. I think um, I definitely could have done better because uh, I was trying to. Because in my head, I was like sort of uh, juggling between normal randomizer routing and my max percent NSJ experience. Because like I try going up frigate, and that's terrible because you need to do that bomb jump from that little standable. If you saw me doing, and that was really bad. So I was kind of stuck between do I go through frigate? Like I assumed I could go through frigate because I know you can, but do I Oop. think we lost you for a second there, Sam. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Uh, welcome to Brazilian internet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> long, long, story, long story short, couldn't go through Frigate because hard trick, and I wasn't prepared for it. Uh, and that also sort of coalesced with Grapple Ledge and Magma Pool Train Chamber and whatnot. Um, like, even saw at the start how I delayed gravity. Because if I delayed gravity, if I didn't pick it up, I actually... Magma Pool would have been so much easier because I know you can get that. You actually do Magma yeah, Pool yeah. with NSJ with Varia. Um, and th there's just a lot of NSJ stuff that I was kind of weird to route. It just it just mixed. It was it was pretty indecisive when you don't have space jump and you're trying to do a lot of stuff that you need space jump for. Yep. Long story short, NSJ bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, just yeah I mean... Space yeah, I feel like I was really, honestly, I was really hoping it would end up being a C where just SJs in like a horrendous location that you wouldn't get for ages, and it would just benefit the prime player to just do a bunch of NSJ stuff. Yeah. Or even finish yeah. without SJ. I don't know about finishing. Phase on core NSJ is like the worst. It's not that bad. It's They're not bad. bad. It's, it's that not. Bad. You do it's one bad. UBJ. Yeah, um, like the worst, most slippery standable ever. With two fission metroids on your butt, you know. You can just you can actually drag the fission metroids into Crater Tunnel A, and they won't bother you anymore. I mean, okay. For me, my issue was just getting those double bomb jumps when I was doing twenty one percent ages ago. Oh, you've done to ooh. I don't know how, that. How, hello, I was the twenty first person to do twenty one percent. Okay, ooh, that's right. <laughs> Congrats with the the ten verified <laughs> SRC runs. Oh. That's it. Yeah. That was like five years ago too. Good lord, I'm old. Hi, old. I'm dead. Shoutouts to me getting the seeker list phase on grounds. Oh my god. Yeah, for that, no oh. reason. <laughs> First that try. Probably, that probably got missed. I was PONRing for like light beam at that point. And yeah. So I just checked phase on grounds and I was not. I didn't find anything. And so I just did that for swag because I was practicing it earlier. Yeah, that more was bad. Was fun though. Did they find this as a final key? Wait, did you try? Did you find a Morbus? I uh, know it was via the hints, but it was kind uh, of it. Was there an Morbus hint? Did you get a Morbus hint, Schwartz? No, it so. was in. Uh, it was on in... Emerald. It oh, was in of course. Oh. Underground tunnel. <laughs> Do you want to know where Emerald was? <laughs> well, I think we know. <laughs> I I know where Emerald is. Yeah, it's War <laughs> Ritual Grounds. That was <laughs> terrible to see. On my way to hints. Oh like, yeah, he got hints. That's right. I yeah, yeah, I went to get hints, and I saw that emerald on the way there, and noticing my severe lack of dark visor, like I guess we're just not getting emerald hints this season. Yeah, that's like the worst spot for a translator. And then you yeah. have to face your hint also emerald knock. I mean, I guess if that was violet, that would have actually been pretty a pretty good spot for violet, but uh, that still sucks. So yeah, any oh. final thoughts? Curse you, um, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's all, it's all Jay's fault. Better be. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Jay, we're gonna have to have some words. 
<laughs> I have uh, I just have one final observation that I made earlier, but um, just for the benefit of the players, uh, the one missile system hint that got hinted, and you can only get one missile system hint because yes. you have missile yes. launcher. That yeah. was kind of annoying because I was like, I wanted to check mine shaft. I was like on my way to check mine shaft. And I was like, uh, do I want to turn around for those seekers? And like, I kind of do, but I ended up not doing it. And then I found the space jump, which meant that area was in MSB. And that was. Yeah, and I think yeah. Karis immediately went back to grab those. Yeah, I got super bailed out by the uh, seeker hints because when I read the Varia next to a space jump hint, I thought yeah. uh, that because it said a space jump. I said to Dace, oh, your Varya is next to your space jump. And then afterwards, uh, we got the Seeker's hint, and then it clicked in my brain, like, oh, wait, my Station B is a thing, so... Yeah. yeah. I was afraid that it was going to be my space jump that was hinted. It's pretty big to have that A space jump. It's crazy that yeah, that, that was... one hint hinted three majors. Yeah. Well, more or less. <laughs> That's that's a really rare hand. Yeah, actually, that's, yeah, you're right. Yeah, something to definitely watch out for if you want advice. And I was like, we were sitting here and just talking about the hints, and when Bash was making the point of, yeah, but we can also kind of see what items are in Prime. And the exact moment you get the hint, a space jump. Oh, look, point proven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I just wish I. I, don't know, I just need to get better at NSJ stuff, honestly. Maybe we can RA a race that with all hyper mode tricks and delete space <laughs> jump. That's not gonna happen on my That's one. That's not gonna happen. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I need to find like the point five people that do that. Uh, so, even yeah. then, I think it's probably in the rules that you you can't RA that. You can for the sake of not uh, having seeds that are like five plus hours. I, I think you can. I just want to inform you that uh, we had a prime tournament match with hyper mode settings. Really. Yeah, I do yeah, remember that. it was Jeff versus Arrow. That's crazy. They had wow. hyper, they had to try hyper mode settings because oh, hyper mode, yeah, four, that's right. They tried to four, force our OP. Logically, <laughs> you, you, logically, you could never spawn an OP in week four because the amount of items given was just too low to make OP oh. logical at any point. So what they did was they activated like everything. They activated like hype mode tricks, reverse lower minds. They had like a thousand messages in the, their schedule, in their schedule thread, and had like within a thousand matches had like everything R8 to make a forced OP start even possible on RD's side. And the yeah. best part is that there wasn't even anything on OP. Yeah, how much you was that? Yeah, you just had to go fight him to get to PCA, which was hilarious. Yep. I don't know. It might. I feel like. I still feel like what barely edges that out is the Flogger start during the prime tournament, the last prime tournament. Oh, that ended up having like power bombs or something. Or no, oh, no, I no, no, had bombs. I, I think you needed power bombs to do it. The power bomb start is super funny with that. You have to see it. <laughs> It even sucks if you try to do like NSJ Flagro strats and the power bomb misses. Yeah, that was uh, that was Intercise versus uh, Sasquatch, <laughs> I, and I highly I recommend that match. Better. By the way, oh, it's on yes. YouTube. That was um, the amazing. That was like the most punishing race I've ever seen. I think I think that's the right word for it. Yeah, go watch that. That was a great race. Any uh, any final um, thoughts? I think I'm I'm done here. <laughs> I've got uh, I've got nothing else to contribute. Just uh, just stay my away. Um, stay away from round two, J. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah. This is the beginning. I, There's plenty of tournament left. I need to <laughs> practice of... how to route light beam. No light beam. That was something that yeah screwed with me today. I got like hit in the face by two light beam doors that I did was not expecting. Like Listen, because I usually I... have light beam at that point. To my defense, I've been so nice and I've warned every one of you that this can only go one way, and it's going to be bad. <laughs> I back, up so far, I in comparison to this, I gen mildly infuriating seats. This was a piece of art. <laughs> this is a this great first race of CGC. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> 
banger <laughs> opener you, to the tourney. Like, you'd like this. this is if just the guys, first race, you guys. Uh, as yeah. I said it to Bash already, if you'd like this, you guys wanted to have a banger race to open the tournament. Well, I, you didn't specify which way you want to have a banger race. <laughs> yeah. Get ready. Yeah, according you're to gonna, whom? You're going to see 17 more seeds of this, excluding the bracket that happens in January. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, also... Shout out to whichever TO set the voice calls to push to talk. <laughs> that was so yeah, funny. <laughs> there was like a solid 10 minutes where I was like, what the heck is going on? Man. Wait, really? That long? What no, I well, found no, hilarious. I'm uh, exaggerating. It was uh, like okay. more like three. But what uh, yeah. I found hilarious was when I looked into the. As I was uh, just out of curiosity, I was looking into the match. Um, into the text chat from the match. Uh, before yeah, the race summer. started, and then I saw like one year ago, <laughs> Dace and Lucari has already had problems with streaming in the exact same channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, the the first match of the tourney, there's always a bit with the permissions that's got to be yeah. set right. But I think we'll be good yeah. to go from now on. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah, we've yeah. said all we need to. GGs and good luck. GGs. 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 Well played. If that's anything, uh, if that's everything, uh, do the commands work? We currently have the link word, to every uh, exclamation mark R. We currently have every link to the runners in the. I did it! Oh my goodness! I didn't do that the entire race. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I I did not optimally hype up any of I'm these racers, goodness. guys. Oh that's my goodness! Yes. Uh, I haven't so, commented in so long. No, that's, no, that's <laughs> not the right one. Gosh damn it! Is it? Also, follow the comms. Jay and Bash are pretty cool. Yeah, they're also neat. Yeah, it's NPCGC. Okay. So. I, know, I think Bash plays this game, like, sometimes. Occasionally. Sometimes. Maybe fast. Depends. Yeah, I heard he's kind of good. I mean, that's. He's a... That's, that's, that's a very subjective statement. <laughs> you're, you're seated above us, so I think you're better. I don't know how. <laughs> I mean, imagine, like, we. like. Somehow, I, mean, I don't know what's crazier, how fast we finish C2, or the fact that Arrow and Captain beat us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 can't, can't <laughs> count them out. They're, they're really freaking good as well. They were yeah. top eight last year. We got a lot of good teams. <laughs> they are in the same group, so another upset could happen. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Take care, right. everybody. Thanks, everyone. For being here. Time to wrap this up. And we will see yeah, you all next good. mission. See ya. Bye. Happy CGC. Happy CGC. Drink water.